start a podcast. I'll title My man Spencer dropping those facts, bro. Those affiliate marketing facts. Teach them. Teach them. Let them know what's up. I don't want to say application, but they're like. What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we have more F30 content. Andres is coming over and we are finally putting on a carbon fiber front lip. I saw all your comments in the previous video asking when is he going to do a front lip? That's all he needs to finish off that car and yes, we're doing it today. He actually has a couple of options. He ordered a like a plastic, like an ABS plastic front lip from I believe AliExpress. So he's bringing that over so we can check it out. But today we're gonna to be installing the carbon fiber front lip from Souvenir. And if you guys are interested in it, it's gonna be linked below. But we're gonna be using self-tapping screws, a couple of bolts, and some 3M tape for this install. But you guys sit back and enjoy the video. Andre should be here in a second. Gonna pull the M2 out of the garage, pull the F30 in, and start the process. The man is here. We just pulled up. So I'm gonna show you guys the lip that we went with. Super clean. It's a little bit different. It has a little bit of an aggression in the front. It's very, very thin, which I like. It doesn't hang too far low. And these are just cut out. So it's a super clean design. I dig it. I'm excited to put this thing on and see how it looks. I haven't seen this one on an F30 yet. And then after we install it, of course, we're gonna go ahead and ceramic coat it. because you already know, that is the way to go with all the carbon fiber. <laughs> in the garage. How about that? That's dope. Oh, it's really clean. It doesn't hang too far. Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's like a safer option. Yeah, it's nice. Show me. Show me. Show me what you got. Uh, Andres also got the hardware tapper kit for his radar. So we're gonna do this today too. This thing's clean, dude. It looks really good on there. So this is the one, this is AliExpress, right? No, this is Gaz P Splitters. They're from the UK. All right. ABS plastic, yeah? Or fiberglass. Fiberglass? Okay, cool. Yeah, they make all their stuff. It's pretty dope. What did this cost? It's like 250 shipped. Not bad. Oh, so this one's kind of similar. It's almost like a mixture of the P-Lip. Yeah, it's like a P-Lip. You know what I mean? And a G GTS style. It's based off of the GTS. Oh, well you can already tell it sticks hella far out, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the black. Something like that. It looks dope, but obviously like, it's not gonna match because you got all this carbon. Um, but it looks good with like the grill and everything, you know? Like it, do it definitely is an option. It doesn't look bad. And then throw, put the other one on. Let's see what that one looks like. Just mocking it up right now. And then the carbon one. Oh yeah, dude. I like that one better. <laughs> Obviously carbon. Looks way cleaner. I like the, just the design of it though is sick. It's almost like a mixture of a Varus with like just a flat splitter, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just it's just missing those little things right there. But I, I like this one more than the Varus. Yeah, it's definitely more unique too, because everyone rocks the Varus. This one's sick. Hell yeah. Cool. All right, quick update for you guys. Andres, uh, if you guys saw the Blackview dash cam install, he went ahead and bought the extension wires. Look at how clean that install is, dude cut out the holes, ran all the wires to this trunk, and then you used, what did you use, Velcro? Just Velcro on the back. So Velcro, and this is like not going anywhere. It's completely stable, super clean setup. I haven't even done that on mine yet, so I gotta do something like that, but it's super clean. I just wanted, yeah, definitely. So I just wanna show that to you guys. <laughs> okay. All right, so we are at the point, we just test fitted it, and it's perfect. We cleaned up the bottom of the bumper, jacked the car up a little bit, just so we have a little more room for the drill. And then I marked some holes that I'm gonna smoke. I went with this guy, 
I went with that guy because I want a couple up front because the downforce is coming from the front and you get a lot of downforce. So you wanna make sure that you have some screws up front. We're using eight self-tapping screws in total. We're using two bolts and then we're using uh, adhesive all the way across it. So it should be solid, it's not going anywhere. We got one hole right here, one hole right there, one hole right there, two up front, and then the same deal on that side. And then we'll lay 3M all the way across and we should be good. So we're gonna go ahead and smoke the holes real quick and then probably put on the adhesive and then go ahead and put it on the car. So the tape layout, as you see, and then I might actually end up putting a screw, like a longer screw on these corners, depending on how they hang once we actually get it on. I just wanna make sure that these don't like hang off or anything. We'll see when we get there, but we're gonna go ahead and throw it on the car with the tape, make sure it lines up perfectly, and then we'll put in the screws. This is honestly, dude, this uh, this lip looks really good. Like, if I still had my F30, I would have ran this lip. It's very, very clean. And with what he has going on on the side skirts, it, yeah, it works really well. So this fitment is solid, man. Solid. We used eight screws, two of our bolts, six self-tapping, and then we have the adhesive going across. The thing is, freaking on there like it's moving the car. So we're gonna go ahead and ceramic coat it real quick and then we're gonna work on hardwiring his radar because that'll take a few minutes. Um, so that we'll let that cure while we're doing that and then we'll head out and take some photos of the car. But yeah, super easy install. Fitment is solid, on point, all the way around. Really good looking carbon. Just like the overall style of it looks really clean too. Super impressed by it, man. What do you think, dude? You like it? I love it. Yeah, I really like it too. It's a good looking lip. It's got like some girth to it too. <sighs> she do have girth to it. It's not like a you know, thin piece of... Yeah, no, it's like, it's like nice quality. You can tell. And it already looks really glossy, but we're gonna even gloss it up a little more. Should make it look that much better. Cool, so we're gonna put on some ceramic and then work on that radar hard wiring and we'll be good. You guys can see how it like crystallizes. See that crystal? So it's actually like cure, it's actually making like a little clear coat of its own. Like that's what it does, it crystallizes. So it literally is like a layer. So let's make sure we go ahead and clean off the lid as well as possible with some alcohol. figured out. So you heard it there, red into red and white, black into brown, I believe. Is that what it said? Yep. That's what it said. <laughs> so let's go ahead and tap this in. Wiretap. I'm gonna link the video right here if you need the full install, but we're gonna do it on his car real quick. All right. We open this up, did the wiretap. Wire comes up through here. Show the boys! Super 
thing. Let's see this thing. It's got all the carbon. Oh, it looks so clean, dude. We're gonna look at height. Height from ground to lip. I'm gonna compare it. Dude, that front lip just completes it. It looks so good. It looks so good, dude. Oh man, I love it. I think I'm a little bit lower. Just a, just a hair lower. Yeah. Fist on my car. Fist, fist fit, man. Fist. Got like close, right? A little more. So yours. Oh yeah, so you got about a, another half inch, half inch? Something like that? Dude, you're good. You got you don't have to worry about driving that. You're gonna be good. His driveway is really steep though, that's what he's worrying about. You crack it, get another one. Switch it up, do something different. Put on your black one. Dang, dude. What do you guys think about it? I think it looks sick. I think it's super clean. Get a diffuser. I think we do need a diffuser. That's like the last piece, man, and then you're good on carbon. For the most part, right? I actually really like that it doesn't come out. Too much, right? Yeah. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to, for you to get into uh, inclines and whatnot. Like a yeah, like mine sticks out pretty far, so I kind of hit everything. But when it's flat like that, it's a lot easier. That's just like the Varus. Off to the spot. <laughs> Saw, dude. All right, bro. Pulling up to the spot. I love this garage. It's the best one. They like just built it not too long ago. And the businesses aren't open yet, so no one's ever here. enjoyed that little cinematic yeah man that's the setup looks super good I'm feeling it easy install things rock solid fitment is great carbon looks awesome no complaints you guys are interested in it it's gonna be linked down below so as you guys can probably tell we have a bunch of f30 content happening and we're gonna have a bunch more f30 content happening partially because my car is gonna be in the shop for a while I'm getting a bunch of stuff done to it We'll talk about that later. But I wanna be able to bring you guys more F30 content because you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I'm gonna continue bringing it to you. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Souvenir, thank you so much for sending out the lip. Andres, thank you for letting me use your car for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. And just like that, this video is over and we are out. Peace.